Okay, so now we have our basic three stone engagement completed. The next stage may be to render it. Perhaps we have a customer that would like to see a rendering of the model prior to going ahead with the manufacture of the piece. Okay, so we have a couple of ways to go about the rendering. In our export and rendering tab, we have an internal live render that is very quickly going to generate a rendered image. Okay, and we can tweak this to improve upon the result. As you see, it's very quick. Our next method is to export a Thea scene. Now, Thea is a standalone rendering engine. Okay, it's going to load up our model within Thea itself. And within Thea, we have a lot more control of our parameters. We can add materials, textures, and so on. We can animate our piece and really generate a much more realistic looking rendering or animation. Okay, so that's what we'll do quickly here. You'll see that I've added a few rounded edges. These are called fillets. This is just to smooth our hard edges and it just gives a better look when we come to render. So I'm going to export the Thea scene and we'll pick the white scene there. Okay, so this has loaded our model into Thea and I'm just going to quickly zoom through apply materials and textures and I'll just show you the end result of rendering and a 360 animation. Okay, so we've generated a quick rendering here. This is a white gold 18 karat, which is why we have that slightly yellowish hue to the metal. A bit more intense than I would like, but we can tweak that, modify it as we can with the stones. Maybe we want to add a bit more dispersion, you know, the colors within the stone. We can tweak many aspects within the theater. You can see it's relatively easy and quick to generate a rendering. We can do multiple views and even animations. Okay, and the result of this is one, we could send it out to customers to confirm that they are happy with the design prior to manufacture. We can also upload our images and animations to websites, okay, and in that way we're able to build up an entire virtual inventory of photorealistic products without ever having to manufacture them. Okay, it's going to save costs dramatically. Again, there's many things to play around with in here, different materials, lighting effects, a lot to explore. Right, so next up we have our file preparation for 3D printing. 